minutes. Magical number three. What if I told you that you only need three minutes to iron all the clothes in post-production in Photoshop? No more frequency separation, spending hours flattening out all these fold lines and wrinkles and stuff like that. Nope, you only need to press one button and it's done. All you need is literally Photoshop and the AI plugin by Retouch for me and then that's it. And then you can do more of this instead of worrying about spending hours in post-production. <laughs> I don't know, so uh, let's get going. I'll show you what I mean. So we are here now in Photoshop and I have prepared this photo as an example. If we zoom in here, you can see that there are wrinkles all over. And previously I would have used something like frequency separation to get rid of all these wrinkles and it would have taken me quite some time, but now with the AI plugin, all you need to do is install this plugin, go up here to the toolbar, retouch for me, and then click fabric. And then what happens is that the program analyzes your photo. And with AI running in the background, it searches for wrinkles and removes them. It flattens them out. Let me, this is already the result. I can also show you the before. And this is the after. You can see it especially here in this area, before and after. And now some might say, okay, this is way too much, but you have here a slide where you can actually blend the original photo with the AI edit and see how much you like. And then you can also check the adjustments the plugin did by clicking here on this brush tool. And all these green areas is where um, the AI detected some wrinkles and it kind of removed them. So if you don't like a specific one, like for example, I don't need it here in the background, you can just like increase the size of the brush, of the eraser, I'm sorry, of the eraser, and then just like paint. And you see it removes this part now from the actual adjustment it added on top. Let's also remove this and perhaps also this. Just go ahead, redefine it, and that's it. And then you can check again what it looks like. And down here you can also, sometimes if it doesn't work too well, you can also go here and um, select one of these different types. So you can have a close-up portrait, a half-length portrait or full body, or let it detect auto uh, the type of photo you have. If it doesn't work well with auto, you can simply uh, try one of these other modes. And then what you can do is simply click apply and that's it, done. And trust me, if you have a lot of photos to edit, this saves you so much time and it's so easy to do. And I just love to use it. Sometimes if it doesn't work the best way, I have found a workaround. Um, if your subject is a bit smaller in the scene, what you can do is simply use the object selection tool and then select your subject in the photo. And then you can do the same, click on retouch for me, fabric, and then it will mainly focus off the, on the area you have selected before. And sometimes it works better than, but yeah, that's just a small tip on the side. Usually it works quite well. And yeah, an amazing AI tool for all these photographers out there that work a lot with like fashion garments, clothes and so on.